switch now to a long lens. I've put a 50 to 500 on. I'm at 400 millimeters, just before the minimum distance for focusing. So I'm just over two meters. Two flashes, one pointing down, one pointing across, both with a snoot on of sorts, both with blue filter. This one's coming down from the top, this one's coming across. The splash at the moment, or the collision, is occurring round about here. I've actually had to move this up because I was actually hitting the snoot. You can see the water drop valve at the top of the screen. I'm now getting roughly about 20 centimetres height. On some of the splashes, I've had to zoom back get all the shot in. Wasn't quite happy with the white and the colour of the milk mixing together the blend. It wasn't work, the milk was more creamy and adding a colour to it, it's made it more yellow in the end. So I've removed the back, so it's just totally black again in the background. Moved the snoot around a bit, so this one's higher up pointing down this one here is aiming across into the space here. The camera is aiming straight down here into the infinity edge of the water. What I've done now, try and get some colour into the picture. I've added red dye to the water valve. Cleaned it out, put milk back in there, the same mixture as before, quarter milk, three quarters water, and just added red food dye to it. The more the water level drops in the valve, it's either shorter the flash delay or slightly longer, depending on how viscous this liquid is inside. 